Once as tall as a condo block, can lift shipping containers in a single move and has a top speed of, well, me walking. Because I'm on Harbour Drive, south of West Coast Park, and I'm comfortably keeping pace with an automated rail-mounted gantry crane. Singapore started life as a trading post in 1819, and the deep and sheltered waterways at Keppel Harbour made it an ideal location for traders. Today, Singapore is one of the world's busiest ports, surpassed only by Shanghai. You calculate how busy a port is by the total number of TEUs that go through the port every year. TEU is the acronym for 20-foot equivalent, which is derived from the dimensions of a 20-foot standardized shipping container. Now, because standard containers can be 20 or 40 feet in length, a 20-foot container is one TEU, while a 40-foot container is two TEUs. In 2019, Singapore handled almost 37 million TEUs. A berth crane gets containers off or on a boat, but moving these containers around the port itself is the job of a gantry crane. At Pasir Panjang Terminal 1, they use automated rail-mounted gantry cranes. The completely unmanned, and emission-free. They're monitored remotely, and container equipment specialists only operate them when there are exceptional cases, such as when the container number can't be read. When the gantry crane needs to move on its rails, this alarm sounds. You've been hearing an automated rail-mounted gantry crane. Here is PSA Singapore Pasir Panjang Terminal 1, postcode 117606. Check out this episode's show notes for more information or visit our website, hearhear.show.